Um, gosh, there are there are so many um, ups and downs in this business. Well, the time I've had here in New York, there have been so many wonderful things that happened to me. I know by the law of averages, I must be due to be knocked down by a truck any day now. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> With an emotional man, I think we saw a, a flavour of what Michael was well, trying to say there. A little earlier this morning on the morning programme, I in fact managed to speak to Michael Crawford um, shortly before he started the celebrations. Michael, many, many congratulations. What a fabulous night. Oh, uh, it, it, it's quite extraordinary. The, the, um, I mean, the, the, the Americans, have, have, uh, they were really terrific at the awards, and there was certainly no feeling of, uh, of the, anything against, the, you know, the British winning anything. I mean, it was just a matter of another another show that has given them uh, some pleasure here, and uh, they couldn't have been more welcoming. Michael, it's all going for you at the moment, isn't it? Uh, yes, I, I said in my acceptance speech, which was amid tears and stuttering, I'm afraid, but I, I, I couldn't, you know, I, it was very, very emotional. Um, I said, this business is full of ups and downs, and, and by the law of averages, I've had so many wonderful things happen here that I guess in the next few days, I'm due to be knocked down by a truck. So, <laughs> so keep an eye out for me. Michael, I, I'm led to believe we, we interrupted your dinner. We... <laughs> There's a lot of you in that today, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was a clip from uh, this morning's programme, this morning's morning programme, presented by one Richard Keyes between the hours of 6 and 7 o'clock in the morning, which might be a bit too early for you, but uh, anyway, it was lovely to hear Michael Crawford in uh, a slightly better mood, I think. Yes. Uh, he really is a highly emotional person, isn't he? And, and, and I mean, deserves everything that's been coming his way, apart from the track. Yeah, I was going to say, but not the track. He's a smashing guy, too. I'll tell you what, let's, to remind ourselves of his magnificent speech, let's have a look at Michael Crawford playing the Phantom in the Phantom of the Opera. This is one of the most popular songs from that opera. Let the dream begin, let your darkest light give in to the power of the music that I write. The power of the Get as well Sarah Brightman, who uh, plays the, the female lead in Phantom of the Opera. I don't think ever gets enough praise for the role that she uh, that she plays. She was quite magnificent, but the critics just love to hate her. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I have to watch you say she was terrific. We've both seen, we've both been told off for talking about it. Yes, yeah, but it is. It doesn't matter anymore. It is terrific. It's a fabulous, fabulous night out. Darshan and Anne Bosser with us this morning. I just wonder before we talk about your. Good win for the Oscars. It won seven, including Best Musical Award and Best Actor for Michael Crawford, who plays the Phantom. Bob Friend reports on the celebrations. And the winner is Michael Crawford, the Phantom of the Opera. It was a truly emotional moment. Whatever else Michael Crawford has achieved in his show business life, and he's achieved plenty, last night's Tony Award for his part in Phantom of the Opera had a very special meaning. There are, there are 
so many um, ups and downs in this business. Well, the time I've had here in New York, there have been so many wonderful things that happened to me. I know by the law of averages, I must be due to be knocked down by a truck any day now. The Phantom of the Opera has been enormously successful, and even those critics who panned it were full of praise for Crawford's performance at The Phantoms. A lot of people are a trifle blasé about these awards and say art is art and this is just a bonus but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> well, we're all individuals, that's what makes the world exciting, but it just makes me terribly emotional. I was, I'm, I'm so proud that, that we've won, I'm so proud that we've done it. It was just, wasn't it? Now the time is... Awards in the Tony nominations, Broadway's equivalent of the Oscar. The Phantom, composed by Andrew Lloyd Webber, was Best Musical, and its star, Michael Crawford, was Best Actor. It also collected the awards for direction, lighting, scenic design, and costume. As my smart reports, last night's triumph has underlined the success of British musicals on Broadway and elsewhere. And the winner is Michael Crawford, the Phantom of the Opera. Michael Crawford's tearful walk to collect his own award last night completed one of the cleanest sweeps any Broadway show has ever made. It's remarkable, though, that The Phantom and Crawford's mask, which came to represent the production during its phenomenally successful London run, ever made it across the Atlantic at all. Andrew Lloyd Webber's wife, Sarah Brightman, wasn't a big enough star for Broadway, said the American Actors' Union, and it was only after Mr. Webber refused to stage the show without her that it went ahead. Once there, some of the critics hated it. One said Miss Brightman couldn't act scared in a subway at 4 a.m., but most loved it and the public adored it. Holding a pair of tickets became the most important of status symbols. For the man who wrote the music and created the whole thing, this time with lyricist Richard Silgo, it was the latest in one of the longest lists of blockbusters in popular music history, many of them with Tim Rice. But on receiving his award last night, the really useful Mr. Webber said it was really all down to the missus. For the Phantom himself, the show has been a personal triumph. Michael Crawford became best known to British television viewers as the lovable walking accident Frank Spencer in the BBC's Some Mothers Do Have Them. But before overnight stardom, he'd spent many years in lesser parts. Good grounding for the physically punishing and highly acclaimed stage role of the circus owner Barnum, and then on to Phantom. Rising from his sickbed on one occasion, and despite suffering the excruciating pain of a hernia, making sure that the London show went on. Last night's acceptance speech reflected all that. There have been so many wonderful things that happened to me. I know by the law of averages, I must be due to be knocked down by a truck any day now. <laughs> what next for the Phantom? Well, Michael Crawford has promised he'll return to the role in London again in the not-too-distant future.